I was close to being a lesbian, guys. Like, it's just when I started growing, I just saw that this thing, this is what they, this is what they were trying to initiate me to. Is it true? We talk about the spirit that I don't know. Some people want to be racing, be mini, no prayer, nothing. One man chubu, you just be falling down under the invisible anointing. All their and leg bear have come to call them, and everybody start running about. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. I want to scream. Thank you for stopping by. Guys, thank you for hanging around all this while. I've not dropped any video. And you guys are still here to come back to watch this one. I am truly grateful. I'm happy. Thank you. I'm happy to have you in my corner. Guys, this is how you do. I hope my hand doesn't pay me. This is how you do when there is no light. When the power doesn't bring light and you just want to film a video by all means. And now I'm inside the car filming a video. Let somebody shout hallelujah. So guys, today I'll just be gisting randomly. Story time. <clears throat> Pardon me, I don't know if Amatan is back or what. My voice is somehow like... I co I'm coughing, my chest is blocked, my nose, is all this amatan feeling and all. But then it is well, we don't know. So guys, how have you been coping with this cashless policy? How have you been coping with this no use money to buy money, whatever? Can you just drop it in the comment section? Because it is well, it is well. So guys, today I'll just be talking about, if you are new here, please, have you subscribed? Click on that subscribe button. Mm. Thank you. And if you are an old subscriber, I love you. And I want you all to, a new and old, I want you all to drop a comment in the comment section to encourage me. Yeah. And to, to, and to, and to contribute to this topic. So guys, I'll be talking about my boarding school experience today. Don't mind any noise you hear around. Like, we're in Nigeria. Neighbors will shout. Neighbors will happen. So just focus on me. Thank you. So, guys, my body school experience. <laughs> Where do I start from? Okay. I went to your body school while I was in GS2. And um, it was a period of my. It was. That period of my life where I just lost my twin brother. And my parents saw it like, mm, this is the only way she can forget or she won't think about that issue so much. Let us take her to a boarding school, which is one of their first mistakes ever. That me, I know, because it didn't help me. They thought it was going to help me. They were clueless, but me, it did not help me. Anyways, I digress. I'm not talking about that today. Or probably I'll just talk about my twin brother's death into my body school experience and all. So, guys, like me or me personally, I cannot take my child to a boarding school. I don't know about you. I don't know. Tell me know in the comment section. What do you think about a boarding school? Do you want somebody else to take care of your children for you? Do you want somebody else to look after your children for you? Or do you want to look after them under your own roof by yourself? Let me know in the comment section. Please don't mind my voice. I'm all stressed. I've sang in church. And then um, coupled with the cough and kata I have. So they felt like that was the only thing they could do at that time. To take me to a boarding school. So I can forget every memory I have about him. But guys, is it possible? Let's let's be realistic. Like you somebody you've grown together with for years. Like years and now. Is no more, and they want you to lose the memory. Like, is it possible? Even your parents, you cannot. Like, is it possible? Even your parents, you cannot lose memory with that person. And so, when I got there, everything was so strange. Everything was very, very strange. I didn't mingle well with people. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I was just there by myself, very lonely. 
I was just there. And it didn't help me. It didn't even boost my morale. It didn't even boost my self-esteem at all. Because I was maltreated by seniors. And so every day of my life throughout that, throughout my stay in boarding school, I was always crying. Every day, every day. I was literally crying. I wake up with tears. I sleep with tears. So, like, I'm always remembering him. Lately, self, like, two years ago, or maybe sometimes last year, somebody met me on Facebook, one of my old friends while I was in boarding school, and she came to message me, and she was like, and I'm like, do you remember me? And she was like, why won't I remember you? You that you're always crying every day, and singing mo, suku, 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 mo, suku, suku, mo, bawe, bawe. And I didn't even remember all of that, to be sincere, to be honest. And she said I gave her my school uniform, to wear, I dashed out one of my uniform. I did not remember all of that. And she was like, I can never forget you, all of that. I digress. So, basically, I have this senior as my bonky. Like, she, she's staying up, I stay down. And I cannot forget her name. Her name is Senior Iwande. Senior Iwande, if you are watching this video now, it's you I'm talking about. Yes. So, Senior Iwande is always like, a bully, like bully raised to power 10. Like, I don't know if you can relate. So, one day we we'll sleep on my bed, having gist with our friends on my bed by 10 a.m. Um, I said 10 a.m., 9 p.m. in the night, and I want to sleep, and they'll tell me to hang around until they are done sleeping. She'll step on me, dirty my bed sheets. If I dare talk, she'll beat me. She'll beat me with anger. She'll beat me. She will even send me to go and fetch water, send me to wash her clothes, iron her clothes, all of that. Like, I faced a lot of things. Is it the part that they will steal your food, your stuffs? Is it the part that I don't eat swallow at all? If you don't know, you know now. I don't know why. I think that's part of the experience I had that made me eat swallow. Like, when they are sharing swallow in the dining hall, I don't go there. And I, I prefer to stay hungry and go and go to eat fufu or a pao, any swallow they make, they make. So, basically, I don't eat swallow. I will go hungry for days. I don't mind eating just Costa biscuit. That time, Costa biscuit, how much do I take for break? My guardian will give me 20 naira for break, 20 naira. That 20 naira, I'll buy one stick sweet, one pea water, one Costa biscuit. Costa biscuit was still like six since I have eight gone. Inside that time, if you if you had Costa biscuit that was eight or six, inside, can you raise your hand in the comment section? Shout hallelujah! We enjoyed. So not now that they're already packing two biscuits inside Costa Lino. It is well with Nigeria. It's going to be good again. So basically, I told you today is just story time. Just enjoy my story. Basically, I. What was I saying? So, I don't go for all those kind of food. Food I don't like, I don't go for it. And so, seniors will send you to go and fetch water. I can't forget those experiences. You've not even washed your own screen for you wash jazz. They'll send you to go and buy something. You had your money to buy it. And you dare not talk because they will beat the hell out of you. They will bully you. Hi. I miss the part of fellowship, knife fellowship. What else? I miss the jollof rice on Sundays with fried fish or meat. It's such an experience anyway. So I digressed. The mistake I think my parents made was that they didn't ask God, what should we do to this child? Like, you gave us two, right? You've taken one. What is next? And that's what I'm throwing out now. That in everything you just want to do, every step you want to take, every new stage of your life, just ask God, what is next? Because by the time you make a mistake, it's going to pull you back, like 10 years back, 5 years back, and you are going to regret it. Regret it. That's how it is. He was sick. My British brother was sick for 14 days, and we lost him to the hands of death. He could not talk. He even took oxygen before he died. He could not talk before he died. Always human songs. And all, I can't forget, I, I remember one of the songs, he's always human while on sick bed. 
I don't know, my voice is cracked right now, but I'll try to sing it. Mufaya ti femi fun Oduagunto toku fumi Je kile je olo ti to jesu mufeo I don't know, every time I try to sing on this channel, my voice is always cracked, but it is well. Because that's what singers are for. I don't shout today for church, so they... Anyways, so basically that's it. He sings a lot. Mm, he doesn't sing it out. He will hum the song, hum the song, and so that's why I cannot even forget about that song. So while, apart from the bully in boarding school, something happened. While I was in primary school, I was a bright student. When I mean bright. And that's what losing a loved one can do to you. Some things will change. You will lose your own self. Like you are, you are, you are wearing out. I was wearing out while at boarding school. I, I became, I was very bright in primary school. That I have awards that I collected. If I'm not taking first, I'm taking second. My twin brother is taking first. If I'm not taking second, my twin brother, like we are rotating it. And when I, when I got to the boarding school, suddenly, I became not even third, not even fifth. I don't even know my position, because I'm always average. I was very brilliant. Why am I now average? I will cry and cry. My parents will still not see what is happening. That this child that has always been making it, she has always been making us proud. Why is she suddenly dull what is happening no in what they will do again is i feel like that's the beginning of my failure i call it failure yes it was a failure phase for me and all they would still do is shout beats you are a failure why did you fail all your mates do they have 10 heads do they have 100 heads and i'll cry and cry and cry and cry and I'm clueless. I don't even know what to do. I'm just a young girl of, is it 12 years or 11 years at that? And so, just two, just three, I was a bother. But I was not pleased with it. And like that, I was still an average student. My junior work, I don't even know what I got. Thank God they were, they were not using. This is me sharing my failure experience. And now I rose again. Thank God they are not using junior white to enter MSS, senior secondary school. I would have failed. Like, I don't know where I would be. Maybe I'll be working. Maybe I'll just be out there selling orange. It's a lie. But then, because the kind of family I, I'm, I'm from, they will not allow you to work. They will not even allow you to work or sell orange. So, I'm sure an average student, and they are not seeing it. I feel like as a parent, when something is not right with your child, you have shouted. She's always reading in your presence. She's always, you know, she's a studious person. What do you need to do? Call that child. Ask her, what's the problem? Me, self, I, can't, I, I didn't know that the death of my twin brother was affecting me. I didn't know. I'm just a young girl that I know that I'm not balanced. I don't know what is wrong. I just know I'm not myself. You get so just call that child, ask what the problem is. And if the child is clueless, go, to, go on your knees, hold your hands, both of you, father and mother. Intercede for that child. And you let be, you give it to that child. There's no how you say words of prayer to that child, that I'll be on that child, I'll be towards that child, that God will not answer. It is like you're agreeing. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered. Thank God the Bible didn't say, where five or four or where three or four. It's where two or three are gathered. So you are ready to, that's the least. Then Holy Spirit is the third person with you. Move ahead. Just intercede, pray. What prayer cannot do does not exist. I've not seen it. Only man, it might take time with some little coaching, but it will surely happen. It will surely happen. And so they fail to do that, reason best known to them. Probably they don't know Holy Spirit didn't reveal it to them. I don't know. So basically, that's what happened. And I was all there. They would shout. I would cry my eyes out. Oh, my God. 
I would cry my house out. Then I was short. I was the shortest in my class. I was very thin, very thin. I don't eat. Sleep God. I go a caca. But I've known God at a very tender age. I'll just sing. I don't really know him like know him deeply. You know, secondary school child that doesn't really, really know God that much. All I'll just do is I'll sing songs and cry. Sing worship songs and cry. I don't know, to some people they might be convinced that ah taking their children to boarding school is the best. But for me, I'm very sure my parents they made their they, they learned their their mistakes like they, they dare not take it. We shall, we are all grown. No one is even out of the age of going to a boarding school again. Like, but when they have the opportunity to tell people that boarding school, no, 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 is a no. Because there are some things that were close to happening to me, if not for God. I will still go back to that. So, I was not bright. I was down and all of that. Till I entered SS, senior secondary school. And I was about to choose either science or commercial department. And forcefully, my dad said, I must be a science student. Because, I don't know, one of the reasons why I heard is he and all his brothers, all his family, they are commercial students. So he wants a nurse, he wants a doctor, he wants a medical student. Like, who does that? <sighs> Would you meet really? My eyes have seen anyway. So I'm all telling the story now and smiling. So let me go back to my boarding school story. Those things I was close to of doing. I have so many lesbians, roommates, hostel mates that you just have to succumb. Not like I was a lesbian. I was close to being a lesbian, guys. Like, it's just when I started growing, I just saw that this thing, this is what they, this is what they were trying to initiate me to. Is it true? We talk about the spirit that I don't know. Some people want to be resting, bear mini, no prayer, nothing. One man chubu, they will just be falling down under the invisible anointing. All their leg bear have come to call them, and everybody start running about. They said the school was built on a. I will not mention the name of the school. It's in the Jebu Mushi. Now it was built on a burial ground. Some people will say they are always seeing ghosts. We we will not know what they are running for. Everybody will keep running. We we'll keep running around the hostel, and we are not seeing the ghosts. Only few people are seeing what they call ghosts. Some people say they, they are seeing spirits, like Madame Koi Koi. I don't know if you heard about that. They are seeing Bush Baby, Egbere, and they are hearing the sound. Hey, we we'll run, 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 run. We we'll sit and we we'll not sleep. All of that, and we will not know what to do. Following money, we we'll still continue life like that. It's just like they have they've thrown you into. I see it as. A prison in disguise, like it's a prison in disguise. But that's how they do in prison. Nobody's looking after you. Nobody's concerned about you. Forget the what the schools we have nowadays. They even give them milk and milo. They give them golden mouth conflicts. Ah, during my time, ordinary Gary, you cannot see. You must bring your provision from your house. You must bring your provision from your house. And you like, I cannot even forget about that. The experience of them cutting my locker. Like they will break into my locker every time and pack my food, my my provisions. Hey, I'll go foodless, hungry, all the months. And how much that time? We don't even have any money. Shallow only. My parents will give my guardian maybe 2,000 till another time they send. So that one will be giving me 20 naira every day. And if they give us food in dining, if I don't eat it, that's the end. And if I don't have provision, that's the end. I'll sleep like that. See, uh, this economy, I'm tired. When you want to make videos and noise is just everywhere. Somebody is shouting in the other house. Somebody is watching something on the phone. I'm tired, but you should just bear with me. Anything you hear is not me. Just focus on what I'm saying. So, basically, that's it. You go hungry, me. Nowhere to cook. Nowhere to buy food. I think we had canteen, but all all around I don't even know. We were not buying food. There was nowhere to buy food. It was just strictly the dining food and all. I remember there was the time they said they stole one student. Like kidnapper broke 
in into our school. And from the back, oh, my school is very big. It's a federal school from Ibadan Expressway to Ijebu Mushi. That's how large the school is. So there's a place you can get through in from the back. We get in through from the back, whichever one is right. And so that's it basically. They stole, they took that child away. And basically, I used to go and read in that environment. Like it's that, it's like our classroom. And during the close of the day, some of us would go there to read before night prep. I can't forget prep. You would do that, those would tell you to stand up. I can't forget all of that. What else do I remember? If you remember anything, they say it in the comment section so I can tell you if I experienced that or not. And if you know about all of this I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section. It was a sweet and sad experience at the same time. Why we did extension, just through extension, with some of the students took contraband into the school. Contraband like we don't take geisha or um, I said geisha sardine into the school. You can't take indoor meat because there's nowhere to cook. They took it. They even took a lubo where they will sneak out of the school to go and buy um, um stew or soup to eat it and use iron to cook indomi and do eba. Like, oh God, I was not part of them because that time I don't have mind. I don't have mind of them telling me, but do you know what, guess what? As I'm not part of them and I don't have mind, we used to chop the punishment together. Oh my God, no, they will beat us together. We will receive that punishment together. We will enjoy it together. I cannot forget when a senior maltreated me and I went to, I was moved to the wall. I cried my eyes out. And I went to get a phone from me. It, some, the phone is not allowed. Though. Somebody sneaked in phone. I went to beg her to give me phone. Let me call my mom. I called my mom. And my mom now called school. No, she came to school to see my housemistress. Hey, before my housemistress even heard about the story, she beat me first. Why would I, which phone did I, she beat me, she beat the owner of the phone. Phone that she punished us. Now, which phone? Did we use? And that was how I exposed the person who was the phone. She, after that, she now listened to everything that happened. She had to throw that senior. She punished her for months. She was always cutting grass at one cassava farm like that. Because my school is very big. Like, try, 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 try. What else? Like, such an experience. Such an experience. I made a lot of friends, but some of them, there was no phone as at, that, as at the time I left, and me not finishing with them, some of them were just seeing ourselves on Facebook. Like, with some people don't even recognize me again because I was very black like Jaco that time, and I was slim. But now, to God be the glory, the Lord has added to my beauty. Somebody shout hallelujah. I mean, is this not beauty you are seeing? This is beauty, natural beauty. So basically, that's so that was the mistake they made. Let me go back to my twin brother. What what my twin brother's death cost me? As at the time you'll be seeing this video, you must have had a title. I don't know the title to give it now. So it was all affecting me. Like the very first day he died, I knew, but they didn't tell me. They didn't tell me until I was done with secondary school 2010. Like, can you can you see that margin? Can you see that? Oh God. Can you see, I don't know, how that distance, and you think I don't know. Like you think I don't know. Even the very the very first day it happened, I knew. They took us somewhere, family me and church members place. They took us there. Those ones were saying, oh, Laura, show off when he went to buy clothes for you. Like, I don't know. Me, that from the scratch, right from when I was young, I had this adult brain. I know what it means as at that age. Me, oh, Laura, show for me. I knew what it means that somebody went to buy clothes. It means, oh, Lord, what's cool? They've said it severally. So I know. They didn't know I knew. I was just smiling. Like somebody that is ignorant, I'll go to corner and go and cry and feel lonely again. I took my my younger sister, immediate younger sister was my confidant at that time. I'll call her and tell her that Bulu, do you know that? Her name is Bulu Atfe. 
But we do know that time was dead. And they didn't tell us. We will cry secretly when our parents come or when they are passing by. We will clean our eyes. They will ask us, what happened? Why are you crying? I will say, ah, nothing. We are not crying. We are just... And for like that, see, they didn't tell us. We too, we see that it's something to hide. So we're hiding it. We didn't know. We're just hiding it. But I feel like, let them know that this person is no more. Or like them, experiencing that trauma, that pain, that thought in your head. You know this person is gone. You just don't know where the person has gone to. You just know this person is no more. You just know you cannot phantom. You cannot comprehend. Something is not right. Something is wrong. And back to back to my school experience and how I failed all through. And so after leave, um, when I went, when I got to GS3, when I got to GS3, I told my parents that I'm no longer going to a boarding school. I want to come from home. Because anytime I come back, I'm always feeling sad. I'm always feeling I was a shadow of myself. I had fun guy all around my body. Because we wash clothes, we wear it almost immediately. It's not drying, we are wearing it. How many do we have? It's only bare, ama wobe. Wet clothes, for that matter. And it was getting to us. Like, I had phone guy. That's what they call the name of that, that, whatever that came all over my body. It was bad. When I come home, I'll treat it, I'll go back, still go and face it. It was not a good experience for me. I don't know about you. It was not a good experience for me. So I got home and I told them that ah, I don't want to go back to this boarding school. I want to be a day student. I miss all my friends coming home, meeting them, and going back again. You are denying me of so many things. I remember my mom will pack food for me when I'm going, but it's just for that day. There's no freezer to to keep food. There's no, you just eat it that day. Indomie meat, stew. You just eat it all of that day. And seniors will even ride you and collect it from you. It's just little you'll be able to eat. I remember when they come for visiting day, I'll cry my eyes out when they are going because I feel like I'm left alone. And when they are alone, why are you leaving me? Do you get? So, it's just, all of this is now story now. That's why I can be bold enough to come out to tell this story. And so, I told them, I'm no more going back to the boarding school. I want to be a day student. Not in that school, but from your house. Let me go look for a very close by school I can be going to from. Mind you, somebody will be saying that. What were they now telling me when I when I knew that I'm no longer seeing my twin brother around again? What was the excuse they were giving me? Let me tell you. They will tell me that it's with my twin it's with my it's with my uncle in Zaria. That time I had an uncle in Zaria. My daddy's younger brother. So they will tell me that it's, it's with my uncle in Zaria. He went to army school. That that's where he is. Uh -uh. They don't allow them to call. Oh. You can't call, you can't talk on phone with them till they come. When is he coming home? Every time I ask, they tell me he's coming home soon. He's coming home soon. They don't know when. All of that. And I will speak with that my uncle, but still, they tell me he's not there. He's in army school. <laughs> my God. So, Sha, I told them my mama going to boarding school. My dad said, I have to write an undertaking. At first, he was angry. He didn't want it to be like that. I don't know why. He just didn't want it. You must be a brother. You must be a boarding school. Maybe because, maybe because, I don't know, it's a federal school, the school fees is normal. I don't know why. But he was just adamant. You must not go. You must continue going home. My mommy pleaded. And I had to go and gather family friends. Loved ones. Hey, what go? Come. Come on. Let me beg this man. That's, I have to change. I'm not doing well in that school. It's affecting me. It's even affecting my self esteem. I can't talk to outside. I'm always like mute. I'm always like sad everywhere I go. And the child pleaded oh, back and forth. My daddy concluded that I have to start an undertaking. Tell me. What ask me what that undertaking is? That how to sign, a, sign an undertaking that I'm going to do my my wire once and I'm going to pass it once. Guys, we all know that it's not easy. We all know that many of us we try wire twice, three times before we made it. Some people do neck do wire do this before they had one O level. But 
I, I wrote that, I signed down the thinking. And at that time, I was entering science department, the department I don't like, where I don't want. So parents, I just want to put it out there. I want to put, I want to put this out there, parents. Listen to your children's opinion. Their opinion counts. Their choices count. You can't choose for them. You choose what you want. You, nobody can choose for you. Once somebody is choosing for you, it's becoming toxic. It's becoming like a forceful thing. And so my dad said, make myself Olamide. That time they call me Candy. When I got to boarding school, I had to change my name to Olamide. Because by the time I get to boarding school, and everybody's asking, what's your name? I'm like, my name is Candy. And they're like, where's your tumor? Where's your tumor? What do I say? Me that I'm just coming out of a mess. I'm not even coming out of it. I'm still in it. You're asking me, what should I be saying? My tumor is dead. Or my parents told me that I had gone to army school. Or what would I be saying? So I just had to say, okay, my second name is Olamde. My middle name is Olamde. And that secondary school was the beginning of the change of name. If you check my primary school now, you will see Drodala Kendi Victoria. Or Drodala Kendi Olamde. My secondary school up or Drodala Olamde Victoria. So I had to remove that name Kendi from me. Not like I don't bear it again. I bear it, but I don't want people to keep asking me questions. And while I'm about to say it, or while I'm saying, yes, this is what happened, I'll start crying. I don't want it. I don't want pity. I don't want people to just pity me, like, anyhow. So, back to my story. I digressed. So that's the story behind me using my Olam day. I am a bona fide twin, and I'm happy to be a twin. And I'm even praying to God to give me triplets or twin. At least twins. If he's not giving me triplets, he should give me twins. And that's, amen, amen. <laughs> so guys, I signed the other thinking because I was just under this, I just want to leave this boarding school. I just want to leave this place. I am no more interested. I just want to leave. Ah, they changed my school to a secondary school around. One of the best schools you can ever attend. Not now. I don't know about now. But one of the best schools every child attends in that, in that vicinity. The wedding I went this weekend, I saw my papa tour, you guys. I don't know as I when you'll be watching this this thing. One of my secondary school mates got married, a guy, and I saw my papa tour, I saw my papa dress. I didn't even know they would recognize me. Guys, guess what? They recognized me and knelt down. I was happy to see them. I saw their daughter who was my classmate. I saw my uncle, Uncle Nii. I saw my secondary school mate over 13 years ago we reunited and he was he was so beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to put some of the clips of my dance of my own in this video. Maybe I should put it at the end of this video. I had a very nice time. Not about the food. I didn't really, really eat at the party. But I was just dancing. And for the fact that this is my brother that got married. He's not just a secondary school mate. He, we've come a long way. Like He's more like a spiritual brother to me. We pray together. We talk together. There's actually not... We talk. Like share experiences. We, he invites me to minister in his church, in his mom's church, wherever he wants me to. He believes in my calling, and I'm grateful for his life, and I'm happy for him, and pray for him. He's going to have a blessed marriage. His marriage will be blissful. In the name of Jesus, we are watching this video, Jonathan, Ijeoma. God bless your home, and God bless you and your wife, in Jesus' name. I digressed. I'm always digressing. Don't mind me. Storyteller, honey. So, I was running the um, science student as a I was running the SS1 to SS3 as a science student I was not making it guys I was failing I kept failing I kept being an average student which I don't like myself but my friends think it's me it's just about me yes I don't like that department one two I'm still not over my twin brother's matter I don't know why he came with a failure thing for me it, that's what his death cost me. I was still not over it. I don't know why. I, do, I cannot even say this is the reason. I was always reading, always going for lessons and all. I was not happy to be an average student at all. I hated physics. I hated chemistry. Guys, ask me what I'm doing in science class if I don't like physics and chemistry. I can still even manage chemistry. And I cannot forget what I learned first. 21, first 21 elements. 
Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, calcium. How to form a song with it? I have another song for it. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, calcium. Like, I have to form a song with it to make it stick into this head. Because I'm a lover of music. I'm a lover of song right from time. Like, so I cannot forget. Those are the only things I can remember right now. Pendulum bulb. I be pendulum chemical. I can't even remember anything. Oh my. When you are in a place that you are not meant to be, Kataya Laba. When you are in a direction, you are going the direction you are not meant to be, you will not be fulfilled. You keep on being struggling and struggling, dragging and dragging. I don't know if somebody is getting me, Kataya Laba. You will not be fulfilled. You will just be rotating on a spot. And I kept on being an average student, being a failure, below average, average. And I will come home, my parents will still shout. Guys, how did I overcome? I had to, SS2, I had to tell them that I cannot write work when I was when I close to end, SS2 ending. SS2 taught them. I told them I cannot write work with this and pass it. I want to change back to accounting, which I want. I wanted to be a banker. I wanted to be somebody that works in a financial institution or firm. You get. And my parents, my daddy said, no, science. I signed another undertaking. That's that work. You will cross. I don't know how you are going to do. You must make that work. I signed that undertaking. To God be the glory. I wrote, I wrote my work once. And I passed it once in a commercial department. I changed my department to commercial, but with a lot of grooming, lessons upon lessons, tutorials upon tutorials. I cannot forget Uncle Ade Umi, Uncle Nii, Sake, English teacher, Uncle Ade Umi. He had to start taking biology and all. He had to get commercial teachers for me. Like, to, do, to go with the glory, I had A1 in accounting. This is not pride. I'm just coming here to share my testimony. And that's this. That's what I'm trying to tell you, that if you, are, if you are somewhere, if you are dwelling in a place you are not meant to be, if you are rotating or going in a direction you are not meant to go, you will not be fulfilled. It applies to marriage. It applies to relationship. It applies to our day-to-day -day activities, our work. And so I'm grateful to God for that experience. I'm grateful to God for turning my life around for good. It's really a great thing. It's really a great thing. And so, I made my wife once. And I'm happy again. And now I am someone that can come out to tell my story, my tumorous story, everything, my experiences, and let somebody learn from me. Parents, if you are watching this, no matter how hard that thing is to tell your child, call that child. Look for a way to tell that child whenever it's happening. If you have to change your child's school, call that child. Sit that child down. I'm changing your school because there's no money. And I want you to be praying for daddy and mommy, that God should bless daddy and mommy, that we can change you back to a school, not just that school we are taking you away from, for, but a better school. You want to go to this particular school, right? Yes. We'll take you to a school that is even better than that. But pray for us. Let this face be good. Like, explain to that child in a very loving way, and that child will understand. Not like you just pick that child away from that school. Go to public school, from private school. A child that has been going to a school where they give them three square meals, fruits, and all of that. You take that child to boarding school, walking in the sun. Like, you are, you are dealing with that child mentally. Like, mentally, that child will not even be able to comprehend. How come, okay? I'm finding myself in another world. Let's learn how to conversate with our children, to communicate with them. They are not young in a way that they will understand. And guys, I don't know how long this video is, but I think I've come to the end of this video. So thank you guys for staying tuned to the end. Thank you for watching this video. If you are here with me till now, ah, I give you, I throw away salute. Thank you for staying with me to the end. Thank you for watching this video, whether clear or not, whether loud or not. 
I am grateful for the gift of you guys. Mm, I'm really grateful. Thank you so much and God bless you. If you have still not subscribed, please subscribe. But if you have subscribed, don't unsubscribe, please. Because I found out that my, my subscribers are reducing. Hey, God, I, when am I, God, when, when am I going to enter 1,000? Please share this video with your loved ones. I don't know if everything I've said made sense. But I know you can pick one or two things out of it. Share it with your loved ones. Share it with parents, share it with singles that are about to get married, singles that are not about to get married. Just share it on your status. Help me share this link everywhere. Let them know that there's somebody bearing alarm day somewhere who has a story to tell and who God has been helping and who God is still helping. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, The Olami Today. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok, The Olami Today. And on Facebook, I bear Olam the Victoria. My email, olamdejo.97 at gmail.com. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>